Sign-up form is one of the most important parts of email marketing. The better it is, the more money you make as you convert more new visitors into subscribers and then into paying customers. In this video I'll talk about key elements of a good sign-up form. Then I will show you how to create a high converting pop-up using specific examples and then I will show you how to improve it. Now, if this is the first time you meet me, my name is Konrad Wysotsky and I've been able to generate over 7 figures in sales for multiple e-commerce brands just from email marketing. I post weekly detailed videos to help e-commerce brand owners grow their business without relying on paid ads. Ok, let's start with the 3 key elements of a good sign-up form. So the good sign-up form consists of a good offer, good copy and good design. Now what does it mean? So first things first, you need an incentive for people to sign up. There are, they aren't willing to give you their email address or phone number just for nothing. They are getting too many spam, they are getting too many emails every single day that they don't want to receive, so you need to give them something that will make them get the uh, get and enter the, their email address. And the best way to do it is to give them some sort of incentive. We will call it call it an offer because this is pretty much uh, an offer, right? You, you offer people something in, in exchange for their email address, which is, you know, like very, very straightforward. Usually those offers are the best performing ones and from my experience something that is free, whether that's gift of purchase, free shipping, free sample or whatever, uh, it's the best performing offer. So it means that your sign up form will convert the best if you have some type of this offer. Now if you're running like a usual offer like 15 bucks off or 10% off or whatever it may be, you still can have a decent submission rate, but most of the times free gift with purchase will outperform anything else. And for one of my clients, like the submission rate for free gift with purchase is 14%, which is quite insane because we it means that for you know uh, let's say thousand people we get 140 email addresses that then we can nurture through welcome series from other flows and then through campaigns. Second element of a good sign up form is obviously copy. So this is like really really simple, you don't have to over complicate it, same goes with the design but let's stick with copy right now, just make sure it's short and concise, so like don't make it you know too long because people won't read the whole sign up form, the whole copy and they'll just close it and you won't get their email address, so this is why it needs to be short and concise and then it must be talking about the incentive very very clearly. So usually the best way to go about it is I will talk about it when it comes to design but to make it really really pop out and you know like make sure that the offer itself, the incentive is pretty much the first thing that people will see when the pop-up uh, pops up. And design just like copy make it really clear and simple and make the offer visible because most of the times if your sign up form is not you know doing well it's gonna be an offer I'll talk about it later on when it comes to you know a b testing and stuff like that but those are the three key elements that play a huge huge role when it comes to the sign up form so now I'll show you the specific examples of high converting and a really good sign up forms okay as you can see this is my swipe file for sign up forms I use it whenever I need the inspiration and those are sign up forms or pop-ups from some of the best and the biggest e-commerce brands so if you need some inspiration I will link it in the video description so you can always access it and you know like just, there are screenshots so not, not, they are not gonna expire and you can use them whenever you want to. Now before we jump into you know, like a nitty gritty of the video what makes a really good sign up form I just also want to talk uh, about the concept called micro S. So this is just one step before actually showing people the offer uh, what it is so in this case instead of you know like they have a question do you want 100 bucks off your first order and people can either go yes I do or no thanks so if they go no thanks obviously the sign up form is gonna be closed but then if they say yes I do the sign up form will be displayed in like uh, in you know the usual way where people can just input their email address and it's very simple to do because you just add one step before asking people for an address uh, email address for example like right here so before having this part, this step, you would add one more saying, hey, do you want 20% cashback? Uh, and then you would have like answers yes or no. And once they press yes, you get them to this page and then obviously the thank you page. Now, why would you do it? So the thing is that it's first of all, it's called, called micro yes. And I've tested it for pretty much all of my clients and it has outperformed every single sign up form that didn't have this micro yes concept. And the reason why it works so well is that people already committed to the process, they already said yes, so it's easier for them to commit to something else, which is only to give their email address, right? They also already said yes, so it's just simpler and they don't need to do that much uh, in their mind at least 
to give the email address and it increases the conversion rate by quite a lot. But now let's go to the actual design. So as I said, the offer itself the most important part, but aside from that, as you can see, the copy is very clean, very short and concise. Would you like 10% off? And that's it, yes or no. Uh, super easy to understand, the offer is clearly visible, and the design itself is also super clean and super easy to do, because in Clavia you would just go and have right side image, and then use the logo, which is just a photo, you can drag and drop it, then the copy, then this arrow looks like it's also um, an image, because it's slightly, you know, uh, blurred, and then these are the usual buttons, but you can also upload a photo and use it as button in Clavia, which you can, like, which allows you to make it even more personalized, and like just looking by those brands, you know, one of the biggest brands, all the sign up, the sign up forms are very, very simple. You don't need to co over complicate stuff. Like, right, 20% off plus free returns, yes or no. And it con I assume it converts very well. Uh, obviously, the product photos are amazing. But other than that, the design of the email itself is super simple. Like they don't even have any background because they don't need to have it. Um, and obviously it's like the desktop version and you always need separate desktop and mobile versions. But still, don't overcomplicate it. Just if you need some inspiration, I'll link the folder in the video description and feel free to use it anytime you want. Like right here is just, you know, um, a simple image. Get 20 bucks off your starter kit, email address, unlock the offer. And that's it. No need to overcomplicate it. Uh, it matches all the free criteria I was talking about. 20 bucks off a starter kit is decent offer. Then uh, c copy is short and concise. Also, it's very easy to see what the offer is. And then design is super simple. Like there's, you know, people won't get confused. They know what they need to do, what they'll get in exchange. And that's it. That's all you need to have a good and high converting sign up form. You can also have like simple one like that. So the way they created this one is just they uploaded the custom background and then um, they pretty much added just the, the copy itself or you can even have the, uh, the actual image with the copy and just insert the input text plus button and that's it. So like pretty much all you need to do is just have custom background and then you can insert the logo and copy any, uh, in any way you, or shape or form you want it to. And it's super simple. I like I was say, talking about it. Here is the uh, another micro as example. Super clean, super simple. They don't even have any background image, just their logo. Really clean and short copy. Clean background, two buttons, yes or no, and that's it. That's how you create a high converting sign up form. Okay, so we're back to the Google Doc, and I'm not going back there for no reason. And the reason why I want to go back here is that I'm gonna talk about what to A B test. So let's say you created a sign up form and you think it's you know great, but it doesn't convert. It converts in between like one to three percent, which is poor. You can do better, and you have to do better. So then, what do you do to make it convert better, and what to test? Well, I didn't wasn't talking about three key elements for no reason. The reason I was talking about them is that they are key. So if you want to improve something, and if you want your sign up form to convert better, just start testing more. And the reason why I you know, listed them in this order is that the offer is the most important one. Then obviously you can just argue if it's like copy or design which one is more uh, like important. But I would say offer is the most important one. If you're gonna see any uplift in conversions, it's gonna be because, be because of the offer. Uh, you also have to separate, as I said before, desktop and mobile um, pop-ups. But then if your offer or sign up form is not performing, test different offers. Let's say you're offering 10% off and it's not performing. Okay, decent. So now what you do is not you change the copy and be like, get 10% off and you change it to, do you want 10% off? The difference won't be that big. I mean, it could be, but again, it's not like huge difference. Uh, but instead of, for example, 10% off, I would do 11% off. So it's only 1% more, but it doesn't look usual, right? Like you can stand out by just having 11% off because not many brands are having that. Same goes for, uh, you know, 15 bucks off. So let's say you're offering 10% off, but your AOV is $100. Then instead of offering 10% off, you can just do 10 bucks off and that's it. I would strongly consider going for gift with purchase, especially if your cost of goods is low and your margins are high. So what it means is that, for example, if you're giving 10% off, but your AOV is 100 bucks, you're giving uh, or losing 10% of the, you know, uh, of the initial revenue, right? Because you gave a discount. But let's say you have the cheapest product in your store and cost of goods uh, are like two bucks. So in this case, you're paying or like giving people something that costs you $2 versus giving something that costs you 10 bucks. 
and I'm 100% sure that the gift of purchase, even though it costs less, is gonna convert better. So you're not only like paying less for, you know, converting the people, so you're saving your margins pretty much, but they're also converting bigger amount of people because the offer itself is way more compelling. So again, if your sign-up form is not performing, test different offers and then you can move on to different copy and design formats, whatever. But stick to the offer once you find something that hits and is really, really good. If you're creating a sign-up form for the first time, chances are it won't convert well. But this is why you need to keep testing and improving it until you find something that works because it's 100% worth it. And one more thing, if you need a proven email marketing strategy for your e-commerce brand, click the link in the video description down below and book a call with me and we'll have a chat about it. Thanks for watching, make sure you like, subscribe and see you in the next one. Bye!